Good evening. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. I'm Brad. This isn't a repair video, and it's not a project video. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Recently, we went out to see some friends at their little escape of a cabin on 28 acres in the mountains of well, if I tell you that, then it won't be an escape, and it won't be a secret. So, I'll just say, at their cabin in the woods, on stilts. So come with me, and let's go take a ride, and I'll show you this cabin. This cabin sits on 28 acres. Some beautiful rolling fields, some wooded, and some creeks, and gigantic trees beautiful scenery that you would want at your cabin. This cabin sits eight feet off the ground on stilts. As we approach the cabin, you'll notice that there's a staircase. It's not just any ordinary staircase though. This staircase, if you go out on the back porch, there's a rope. And if you pull the rope, the staircase lifts off the ground so that when you're inside, you're safe in case anything or anyone decides to try to come in. As you come through the front door, it's warm and welcoming. There's plenty of local antiques, as well as handmade goodies, all throughout the cabin. This cabin was built using materials on the land, as well as some handcrafted furniture, countertop and cabinets in the kitchen, the upper cabinetry is made from ammo crates from a local army surplus store and the interior as well as the exterior of the cabin are clad in wood. The exterior oak trees from the land that the cabin sits on. The inside is pine. I was lucky enough to have my hand in the building of this cabin and it was a blast to work on. Back then I wasn't filming any projects and I regret it now being that these would have been some awesome project videos. Maybe one day we'll build another cabin. Anyway, there's baseboard heating to keep you warm in the winter, and there's a ceiling fan to keep you comfortable in the summer, as well as a window air conditioner unit. The downstairs of this beautiful cabin is 15 feet by 15 feet, with the addition of a bathroom on the back. As we enter the bathroom, or the necessary, the cabinet that the sink is in is an old dental tool cleaning cabinet. The plumbing to the shower is exposed copper, giving this bathroom a really cool handcrafted feel. There's a paddle staircase that we built leading up to a rear upper reading loft above the bathroom and the back patio. And a sleeping loft above the kitchen and the front patio. There's an outdoor entertainment area as well with seating and lights strung throughout the trees, making the ambiance amazing. It's quiet and peaceful out here. You hear the crickets and the animals, and that's about it. The only complaint I have about this whole thing is not getting to spend that much time out here. I'd like to thank my friends for letting us come out and visit the cabin and bring you guys along with us. If you enjoyed this little trip, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun projects, repairs, or videos such as this, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you back. If you want to be the first to know when we release our next video, hit the notification bell. I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.